Do you want to know how to scale patterns in Illustrator? Well, stay tuned because we're going to be taking a look at just that after this. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to scale patterns in Illustrator. This is something that I use all the time in work, especially when creating textures and backgrounds. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. Right, let's jump over to Illustrator and take a look at how to scale patterns. So now we've got Illustrator fired up, you can see I've got two patterns here. Despite what you might think, these are the exact same pattern. They're just scaled differently. As I mentioned before, this is something that I use all the time to create textures in my illustrations. And if I zoom in onto the one on the left here, you can see that the pattern is the same. So let's take a look at how I actually scaled up this pattern to be this pattern here. So the one on the left is a default pattern size for this swatch in Illustrator. So if I were to create a new shape using the same swatch from my swatch panel, which is this one here, um, I'm just going to make it white so you can see it. And you can see that this pattern here is the same as this pattern here. And like I mentioned, this is because it's a default pattern size. The patterns that I'm using today are the default ones in Illustrator, but the same technique will work with any pattern to scale it. So how did I go about scaling it up to the one on the right? So the first thing that we need to do is select the shape that has the pattern on that we're wanting to scale. Then there's two ways that we can access the scale function. One is by going up to object, transform, then scale, or we can double click on our scale tool, which is this tool here, and it'll bring up the scale properties. Once the scale dialog box appears, you wanna make sure that uniform scale is selected here. And then I'm just going to enable preview so we can see what any of the changes that I'm making are doing to the pattern. So the next thing that we want to do is make sure that scale corners, scale strokes and effects and transform objects are all unchecked. The only one that we want checked here is transform patterns. This is the one that a lot of people forget about when trying to scale patterns and they're wondering why it's scaling the shape as well. So once we've done that, what we can do is we come up to our scale options at the top here and then we can use our mouse wheel to scale up through the percentages. We can also hold the shift key to jump up in increments of 10%. And we can also use our up and down arrows on the keyboard to do the same thing as well. And if you do have a scale that you want to use, you can actually key that in as well. So I'm just gonna key in 700%. And then once we've got if I click out of that, you'll see that the pattern is scaled up to the same as this one on the right here. So once we've got it somewhere that I'm happy with, I'm just going to click on OK. And we can see that our pattern has scaled up nicely and it's scaled up nicely to match this one on the right here. But you might be thinking to yourself, what happens if I decide to change the shape? Don't worry about it. The pattern remains scaled regardless of what you do to the shape. If I just switch over to my direct selection tool and then if I drag out some of these anchor points, you can see that the pattern remains at the 700% that we specified, but it's allowing me to change the shape and reposition the shape without actually affecting the pattern scaling inside. We can always go back into the scale tool and alter the scale of the pattern if we change our mind and want it at a different percentage. It's also worth mentioning, using this way to scale the pattern doesn't actually edit the pattern tile itself. So that's how we go about scaling patterns in Illustrator. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people, educating them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.